this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about hard iron deviation. Hard iron deviation is said to form on a ship when the ship is built in a shipyard. That means for the good six or eight months when uh, there is a lot of hot work going on, the current flowing uh, through the ship, the magnetic element getting settled in a certain direction in the hard iron of the ship, right? Uh, so called a permanent magnet is formed. Naturally, depending on what is the built head and what is the hemisphere in which the ship is built, the blue and red poles will be formed. What is important to be noted about this hard iron magnet or permanent magnet is this uh, blue and red pole will not change its intensity and position when you go to southern hemisphere or you change latitude. In fact, in future, whenever the ship is ever on any part of the earth on the built head or a heading opposite to the built head, right? There will be no hard iron deviation. Now we can say the fore and aft and a thwart ship component of this permanent magnet gives rise to PB that is permanent B and permanent C respectively. So this permanent B and permanent C which gives the hard iron deviation will not be there if the ship ever in any part of the earth is on built head or heading opposite to the built head. Right. I will try to show you a diagram. Uh, say for example, there is a, uh, a jetty this way and uh, a rather shipyard this way and the ship is built on this head. Now, the ship is built in northern hemisphere on some northeasterly heading. Right. So what will happen is, as I told you before, in northern hemisphere the signals, they pour from top. And compared to port, the starboard side is exposed to the magnetic lines of force. So a blue pole is going to form on the starboard side and because the ship is on some northerly heading, right, the aft part of the ship will have the blue pole. So the blue pole is formed in the aft part, in the starboard part and in the top part of the ship. That means uh, somewhere on the deck uh, you may say uh, somewhere over here the blue pole is formed. It's on top, it's on starboard, it's in the after part, right? And as the signal, if I uh, show you the ship like this, as the signal enters the ship, right, from the other side, you know, say this is the red pole in the lower part of the ship, close to the key, and on the port side, on the forward side. So there is a magnet, imaginary magnet, there is a permanent magnet that is formed on the ship, it has got blue on the starboard, blue aft and blue in the upper part. So accordingly, this magnet has got a fore and aft component that gives rise to PB. There is this athwart ship component. There is this athwart ship component which gives rise to PC. And then there is a vertical component that gives rise to permanent healing error. Now we have uh, uh, this fore and aft component which is called P, a third ship component that is called Q and the vertical component that is called R. Now vertical component R is responsible for the permanent healing error. The fore and aft component P is responsible for PB and a third ship component Q is responsible for PC. Now blue is aft, blue is not forward. We will remember this FSB, blue forward, starboard and below gives positive coefficient. So blue is aft, not forward. So uh, PB is negative. And because blue is on the starboard, not on the port side, so we say PC is positive. Right? Let us say as the ship is built this way in the northern hemisphere, the PB that is formed on the ship is say for example minus 8 and PC that is formed on the ship is say for example plus 3. So uh, PC plus 3 PB uh, minus 8 right that is formed and this PB and PC gives rise to the hard iron deviation. Let us uh, do a simple numerical to understand the relationship of PB, PC, hard iron deviation the built head and the natural zero. Like for example, 
the ship is built on some northeasterly heading opposite to that is called natural zero and natural zero is a very important heading to find out the calculation now this ship which is built say in northern hemisphere wherever the ship goes any part of the earth as long as the ship is in this heading or the opposite heading what will happen is this permanent magnet will remain in meridian and that's why there will be no hard iron deviation so this ship does not have any hard iron deviation provided the ship is on the built head or the natural zero right so you might be given a question whereby a question says that a ship had a uh, pc equal to plus 3 and pb equal to minus 8 find what is the built head and also find out what will be the hard iron deviation on a particular heading let us attempt this question So the only data that is given to you is a ship has a PB that is minus 8 and PC that is plus 3. So how do we start from this data to know what is the built head, right? So PC is, because PC is positive, it would mean that the blue is on starboard. on starboard side and the signal is hit from the south you know the magnetic lines of force are coming from the south it means that the ship is built on some easterly heading pb is minus 8 and we know that uh, blue forward starboard below gives you positive coefficient pb is negative which means that blue is not forward blue is aft and if the blue is aft, this would mean that the ship was built on some northerly heading. Right? The ship was built on some northerly heading. It could be like this. It could be like this. Like this. And so on. Ship was built on some northerly heading. Because the blue is aft. The signals on the earth, they travel from south to north. The blue was aft, that's why pb is negative so we can say pb negative blew off ship was built on some northerly heading this means that the ship was built on some easterly heading ship was built on some northerly heading that means the ship was built on some northeasterly heading. How do we find that heading? So uh, the smaller angle with the meridian would be found by tan theta is equal to PC upon PV. So when we do tan theta is equal to PC upon PV, which means that 3 divided by 8 equal to shift tan gives me 20.5. It means if the ship is built on some northeasterly heading, the smaller angle with the meridian is 20.5. Then 0 to 0.5 is the built head. And 200, add 180 to this, 200.5 is the natural 0. There is a great significance of natural 0 in the calculation because with respect to natural 0, we measure the theta for any uh, given angle. The theta is measured clockwise from natural zero, whatever is the ship set. So if we want to find out the total hard iron deviation on any heading, then we must find out what is the angle, what is the clockwise angle from natural zero till that heading. And then HID max into sine theta is the hard iron deviation. Now what is HID max? If you have a zero hard iron deviation on 20.5 and 200.5, heading that is perpendicular to 20.5 or 200.5, on that heading we will have the maximum hard iron deviation. And maximum hard iron deviation can be given by under root 8 square plus 3 square, right? So that is 64 plus 9, 73. Under root 
73 equals 8.54 8.54 is maximum hard iron deviation so suppose I want to find out what is the hard iron deviation on 300 300 from 200.5 clockwise 99.5 right so uh, HID max is 8.54 8.54 into sine 99.5 because from 200.5 till 300 is 99.5 so on 300 degrees compass uh, the hard iron deviation will be 8.54 into sine of 99.5 degrees that makes 8.42 8.42 degrees east that is the hard iron deviation on 300 degrees if I wanted to find out what is the hard iron deviation or deviation because of these coefficients on 300 degrees then I would write minus 8 into sine of 300 plus plus 3 into cos of 300 let us see how much I get 8 into sine 300 that gives me minus 6.928 6.93 and minus minus becomes plus so that becomes plus 6.93 and this one is 3 into cos 300 that is 1.5 now as you know that cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant the total becomes 3 8.43 so this is the deviation I have got because of coefficient PB minus 8 PC plus 3 by the usual formula that is B sine course plus C cos course that gives me 6.93 degrees plus and 1.5 degrees plus total becoming 8.43 degrees east that is approximately same as 8.42 degrees which we found by the other method so this way we have seen that whether we find uh, the hard iron deviation by HID max into sine theta method where theta is measured from the natural zero till the heading in question or we find out the hard iron deviation by PV sine theta plus PC cos theta we get the same results